Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Ramon Nunez. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is better when shared with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's get in and take a look at some Ramon Nunez art. Specifically, how they turn animals into characters. Oh, so this is a wonderful subcategory of the art of Ramon Nunez because we have adventured with this artist before. We have, and- In a previous video. Yeah, so previously, if you haven't seen our video, I'll link it, but uh, we looked at a lot of fan art, mm -hmm. and this time we're gonna see how they transform these animals into different characters. And not just like the animal, but like the- Emotion. Yeah, like this eagle looking at its reflection turned into this, which I thought was so funny. Amazing, and I love the choice to include fish because, you know, it's a pond. Yes. This is so cool. It, I love stuff like this. This, this eagle guy feels so angsty. Yes, know? Oh, just, just like uh, an eagle, just, just like an eagle. Exactly. Um, as well as the clothing choices are so good. Such a really cool, fun part of this process. Yeah, and again, this artist does a lot of like super sketchy, like, how did I describe it last time? Do you remember? I, it was like controlled chaos. Yeah. Where all the sketch lines feel unintentional, super sketchy, super random, but every single line is intentional. This is the most beautiful version of pigeons. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this trace. You, you just have to, like it blows my mind every time to see artists that do this, that take animals and make them into people and you're like, how did you think to do that? What about that bird inspired you? I, although the one on the right here, I'm like, okay, I see that. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we see it, we see yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> but oh my gosh, just so, so cool and creative. Yeah, so they, they do this with quite a few different birds as well. <laughs> like, I, I love their, I mean, this one's amazing as well, but see. You'll, you'll see more, you'll see more of the birds here soon. Like, they had to make a choice. They're like, well, people don't wear shells. So what do they wear? These big nets apparently on their backs to... They're, they're, I think they're just carrying them. You know, that's, yeah. that's like how they carry them. Oh yeah. And, and they take it them. to their place wherever they're fishing or, or doing whatever just they're so doing. so cool, so cool. Yeah. Another one with like doves or is that, I don't know what kind of birds these are necessarily, maybe think, another type of pigeon. I, I think a pigeon, I'm not yeah. sure. Oh Every, everything gosh. that looks like that bird to me looks I like a pigeon. <laughs> the, the glorification of the humble pigeon. I love it. So, I also so love like the angel and demon character. Like, mm, on the shoulders. Pulling them apart. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> They're lovebirds. They're lovebirds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. Uh, oh my goodness, I love this so much. The I what? The, I was just gonna say the grown-up jellyfish, the little girl jellyfish. Hey, yeah. like. And the little umbrella, too. Also, the fact that they're, like, you know, uh, guiding traffic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, like, why are they guiding traffic? I don't know, but I love that they are. There, there was probably something that, you know, seeing all the jellyfish together made them think about traffic or something. Who knows, Who knows? how they got like, there. Like, you can't go through here. Our tentacles are sharp. All right. I, oh, my god. I don't goodness. know what this image is of the horses. It makes no sense what they're doing, but... Uh, no. I love, I love this. Somebody's trained these horses to do a fun little <laughs> they trick. They must point, point my little pony. I yes. must point on my little toe. And that is so fun. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite artworks of theirs. I like the translation that. of the characters. We gotta try this. Oh, we gotta man. just take a stab. Oh, it'd be we just so gotta take hard. a stab. Maybe, uh, you know what? I do know that they have a Patreon. And, uh, you know, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check out their Patreon. But... Uh, maybe we could check it out as well and see if they have any good tutorials on there for how they go about their process. Okay, so straight up the moon. The moon. The moon, and we've got like the tides on the umbrella. Oh, I didn't even notice really that. Cool. Yeah. Her butt. Her button on her purse says "Just a Phase," which is super cute. And then of course her headphones are branded with Luna. Mm. Oh my goodness! And then the clouds. This is so cool. I don't know how anybody does this. No oh one. my gosh. No one knows, Abby. It's, Nobody it's knows. magic. It's this is, magic. This is where art feels like magic to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. This person is just so good at concepting different characters. I love, you know, I feel like there's so many different places you can pull inspiration from, and they are clearly pulling more inspiration than just the animal, right? 
Like, what about viewing this? They're, they're like bank robbers, you know? They're gonna go... Yes. And they have like a briefcase of money that they're running away with. Yeah, not that she's running away like on a trusty steed, but like on another guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, her leg is hurt. It know? does look like a heist situation. Oh, her leg is hurt. Oh, no. And by the way, Abby, that is an Uzi. Oh, is it? <laughs> I, I don't think we've ever told the Uzi story on Drawbly, but maybe one day we can. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Uh, I really like the alligator. Oh, he looks like Eminem. Oh, he does. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so, so Cro cool. Crocodile Shady, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the the good old frog and snake, of course, playing uh, some baseball. That's like... awesome. And she's got Medusa hair. Yeah. 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 That is very <laughs> Look cool. Look at it. That's such a fun juxtaposition there. I just love these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Swans. Oh, classic. 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 I love how all the swans are super tatted. Like, oh, they're, yeah. They're so tatted. That's awesome. I can't tell if they're like being judgy of the black swan. Uh, obviously. Let's see here. Oh, I know what that is. That's a blue footed booby. Oh, is it? Yes. I'm not making that up. <laughs> no, no, I've heard of that type of bird before, but I didn't know. Yeah. If I had to guess, yeah, that's probably what I would have named. said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who named them. <laughs> I like how the, he's just randomly a lineman. Like, what about this image gave them that job? Like, how did they get there? Right, right. I need a peek behind the curtain. Also, this poor fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the goggles he put on the guy that's the fish. <laughs> to make the eyes super massive. To make massive. the eyes super crazy. This person clearly likes drawing tattoos. They're very good at it. I know. Like, I'm finding it hard enough just to get... Oh, look, the, the original image is tattooed on the guy's chest. Oh my gosh, it is. That's wow. awesome. Wow, that's amazing. It's kind of repeated there on his side, yeah. too, a little bit Very there. meta. Very, Very meta. meta. What have we got here? Oh my gosh, pigeon album cover. I actually remember seeing this image posted somewhere and being like, this is such a cool album cover. <laughs> and sure enough, here it is. Here it is like again. A, a pop band of some kind. This, if this was like the one thing I could do with art, I would be happy. I know, right? <laughs> well, then this is the one thing we need to do with art. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. She's all mad because she's gotten muddy on her shoes and he's just like... He Ugh. couldn't care less. Yes. He's like, couldn't whatever. I just have less. to get you there safely. <laughs> so incredible. What have we got here? We've Some got a cats. fish carrying... A cat carrying a fish on the side. An old sage cat. Represented by the little man, and then a very scary cat on the side that's diving underwater. And I like that they're all eating together. Yes, it makes me it reminds me of Kung Fu Panda. I I love the lineups like this as well, where the characters feel like they exist in the same universe. I think that's so interesting. Look at all the different color choices they demonstrate here. That's so fun. And the little crab down here. Yeah, I know. I love the little crab. Little hermit crab. And if you love the little crab, click that like and subscribe button. And check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw, every day at the link below in the description. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Oh my gosh, Ben, what animal are you going to turn into a human first? <sighs> That's so hard for me to decide. How about a frog? A frog? I think it's a great place to start. I think I'll start with a... Dog. Did you just say that because it rhymed with frog? No, I was thinking it. I was thinking it. <laughs> I don't think you were. <laughs>